who wants moldy blackberries? Look at this. This is produce. Something smells like throw up. I need food. Currently in need of food right now. When you come home and you're vegan, all your vegetables are spoiled, all your produce is gone. We've been gone for a week and a half, it means only one thing. You need food. Which means, there can only be one place we need to go. Oh, Always bring your bags. That's the wrong foot. hoping to come back home to some sunshine and realistically I wanted it to snow in Reno that didn't happen now I come back to rain and I still have the hiccups <gasps> why is my hiccup still lasting for almost 24 hours if any of you know how to get rid of hiccups please comment down below and let me know Should we get any like pasta sauce here? Oh, gotcha. We're thinking the same. We have olive oil. Basil pesto. Organic edamame. Really? Definitely vegan. You guys ever tried this? Okay. Next. Where's like the corn in a can? It's actually pretty amazing that this many people's out right now going grocery shopping, although it's raining. Not gonna go that way. <laughs> Let me go see if they have cheap fruit, organic fruit here. I really love the prices that they have here at Sprouts, but the quality of their vegetables, like, this is not firm, this is so squishy. Yeah. These are organic. It's good, too, it's a pound, it's cheaper than Whole Foods, $7. If they're not good though, don't grab it. See, if you're coming to Sprouts to get a good budget, you should be cooking the food that you're buying from here today, the day of or the second day. Because after that, you're pretty much gonna see signs like this. Who wants? moldy blackberries. Look at this. This is produce. Let's go. Look at that. Look at the quality of this pineapple. Look at this pineapple. It's all dark and squishy. Life magazine movies of the 1980s. Classic. Star Wars. Indiana Jones. What a great time for filmmaking. The 80s were. No, thank you. I actually have my own. All this rain is going to be a problem. Location two out of the grocery stores that we need to go to today.
broccoli. The trick to produce is FIFA. First in, first out. I used to work in a grocery store, which means always go for the produce in the back, not in the front. It's more fresh. Cauliflower. Carrots. All right, next item on the list. There's one thing you should know about grocery stores is that just because Whole Foods has natural organic food doesn't mean that the produce is always going to be 100% the best quality. So make sure you look. For me personally, the best way to get great quality produce is to go straight to the farmer's markets, to the people who grow it. Would you guys buy these bamboo salad hands? This is pretty cool. For $15, you can buy a mushroom farm from Hulk Grow. Edible mushrooms right out of this box. Organic red potatoes. It looks like they're out. No garlic. Would you rather want tacos or burritos? How many of you check your labels and how many of you check your expiration dates before you pick it up and buy it? You don't. Me? I do. Sometimes. One thing that you'll rarely find at Whole Foods is sales. A lot of things are on sale here. We like to call this place Whole Paycheck because you will end up spending your entire paycheck on groceries here. Pasta? Pasta? Eat some pasta seasoning. You want to get marinara? You want to get Italian herb? This is for the soup. It says vegan. This is vegan right here. Look at the V. The seal of approval of vegan. <laughs> right here we've got some Virgil's root beer, micro brew. Are you sure we can drink that? Yeah, I'm positive we can drink What's this. There? What's in here? Let's see. Purified carbonated water. We can drink vegan water. Damn. Caramel color. What is caramel color? Is it just the color of caramel? Or is it actual caramel but it's colored like Can caramel? they just say brown color? Caramel color or caramel coloring is a water-soluble food coloring derived from corn. It is derived from a vegetable sources and is considered vegan. I'm grabbing that soda. It's vegan. Yeah. Chrissy just made the number one discovery that I wish we figured out during Christmas time and Thanksgiving. They have vegan whipped cream. Can't go wrong with vegan flatbread. You know what I came for? One chocolate vegan donut. Two chocolate vegan donuts. Which which uh, donut would you like, babe? There's one thing about Chrissy. She always wants more donuts, but never eats them. The thing about these vegan donuts you need to know is that as soon as you bring them home, you need to put them in a Ziploc bag or else they will be concrete hard. This is a nice book. The ultimate vegan cookbook. Just about done here in Whole Foods. Let's go to the checkout line now. Whoa, whoa, the receipt! Whoa. Oh, I just saved the receipt from falling. <laughs> Alrighty. All done. Grocery shopping. Finally, now it's time to go back home, edit some more videos, put in some more work, cook some lunch. 
Oh, well we ate brunch, so let's think about what we're gonna cook for dinner then. My feet are soaking wet right now on the inside. It's like a little 